Although we prefer the calf to be delivered, a normal delivery to take place with the calf in anterior presentation, we often have the calf presented in a posterior presentation. So when we do our examination, our initial examination, we will approach the pelvic inlet and we'll find that we see two front legs but no head. If we approach the cow before we have to do any pelvic examination and two feet are outside of the vulva, that can help give you an indication as to what you're dealing with just by looking at the soles of the calf's feet. If the soles of the calf's feet are facing the sky, like in this situation, you have two thought processes before you do your examination. One would be that you have a anterior presentation where the head of the calf and these are front legs is presented into the birth canal but the calf is upside down or possibly there's a minor uterine torsion that needs to be corrected. If the calf's hind legs are presented in, uh, for, for a posterior presentation, then you will also see that the soles of the calf's feet are pointing towards the sky. So your first indication that you may have a posterior presentation is determining what direction the soles of the feet are pointing. You also should always try to figure out if you have front feet or hind feet by doing your flexions of your joints and making sure how many are flexing in the correct direction or the same direction as we described in a previous video. In this case, with no head present into the birth canal and the calf's soles pointing up towards the sky and the flexion test shows us that we actually have a back leg, we call this posterior presentation. The calf can be delivered in this particular presentation, but it may be very difficult for the cow and we have to do very specific procedures to avoid injuring the cow. Remember the anterior presentation has the head position between the front legs and it's this gradual expansion from the feet to the nose of the calf to the pole of the head of the, ca of the calf that grows in diameter and this ex normal expansion with the, with the size of the diameter of that area expanding allows for complete dilation of the cervix and the cranial um, vagina. So the calf's normal presentation uh, also assists in complete dilation of the birth canal so that we have delivery of the calf without injury to the cow. If we present it with the hind legs in a posterior presentation, we do not have the head adding diameter or size to the calf as it enters the birth canal. And you can see as we go down the calf's legs all the way to the point where we get to the calf's hips, is where we initially get a majority amount of dilation, I mean diameter, and that's already at the point of the cervix, so there's not a gradual dilation that takes place. If we're very aggressive and we put chains on this calf and we help assist this cow by aggressively pulling this calf out without giving consideration to further dilation of the cervix and the cranial vagina, we may actually cause a tremendous amount of damage to the cow. So one of the most important things to remember about a posterior presentation delivery, although it is possible and it happens quite frequently, we as the assistants must make sure that the cow is fully dilated at the pelvic inlet and the birth canal in order to avoid any tears or injury that this force of um, expulsion of the calf can create. Once we put the chains in place and we do full dilation, um, and slowly ex extract the calf, this calf can be delivered posteriorly um, without any damage to the cow.